Hmm. Sounds like giveaway. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy D Rock, and I am back with another video for you. Today, we got that Iron Studios 110 scale Colossus, which, as you've seen from the intro, is going to be the next giveaway prize. So, stay tuned after the video for details on how you can get yourself entered in that. Now, let's unbox this Colossus and take a look at it. This is my first Iron Studios piece, so I am super excited to take a look at this thing. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Drop a comment, as usual. Let me know what you think about this statue. Now, let's hop right into this Colossus unboxing. Let's go, dog! All right, we got your boy. Colossus here, whose first appearance was in Giant Size X-Men issue number one. He was part of the new team. Break him right out of this styrofoam packaging here, and man, does he look awesome. Gotta love that grimace look on his face as he's lifting what appears to be a piece of the Sentinel from the dioramas that uh, came out just recently. Gotta love this paint job on him though. Like the texture on his boots is just super good looking. Even the texture on the bottom of his boots. I mean, they went as far as to put in all this detail on the tread. You got the peg there. The great like chrome looking metal of his body. Some nice wear on the boots too. You see a little like dirt and mud speckled up at the bottom. Just a great amount of detail on this piece, man. You gotta love the Colossus. Lifting up this big old Sentinel piece. Great portrait on him. Just a tremendous job by Iron Studios, man. You gotta love all this detail in this Sentinel piece. The wiring sticking out. You got little cuts and scrapes along the metal here some good wear on this piece his fingers are just ripping into the piece of the sentinel just so much detail and a relatively small piece it's one tenth scale but this thing definitely has a good presence it's probably one of the bigger ones that comes in this collection along with like juggernaut but it's definitely a great little piece, man. The paint job is just incredible on this guy. All right, let's grab this base right on out of the styrofoam box here. Unwrap it and take a look at this thing. The base is actually quite heavier than what the Colossus statue itself is. This is all polystone. Gotta love the detail in this stonework here. There's grass in the cracks and rebar sticking out of the uh, concrete there. Pretty simple bottom of the base, just Colossus Iron Studios with that X. You can see the little footprint there for his foot to slide in, and on the opposite side as well. Some weathering and rust on the rebar that's sticking out of the concrete here. Just gotta love that they have this grass underneath the stonework too, and a little bit of mud and dirt. So it just looks like it was ripped out of the ground. It's a cool little base. It's definitely a little heavier than uh, what the actual Colossus is. But once he's playing this, he ain't going nowhere. We'll get this assembly going, which, like I said, isn't very much at all. It's only two pieces. I thought maybe the Sentinel would be uh, placed in his hands, but he's actually one whole piece. So he just pops right into the base slides in no issue and man he is looking great definitely a cool little piece man decent sized footprint for a 110 scale statue
Now we'll just take some closer looks of him all assembled together. Just gotta love the grimmest look on his face as he's about to smash this sentinel piece. Decent sized footprint for a 110 scale though, man. This thing has a good presence. It's uh, just under 12 inches in height. The base looks awesome. His feet slide in well. They, they fit well. There's like no like seam in between. It looks good. I love the dirtiness of his feet. And then you got the little wiring sticking out of the Sentinel and the wear from the battle. Just definitely a cool looking statue, man. And moderately priced too. This thing goes for $180, which isn't bad. Especially for how much details in this thing, man. All these pieces in this X-Men Sentinel collection are just real awesome looking. They're, they're just so much detail on them gotta love the paint jobs man i mean the texturing throughout these statues is just crazy the red and yellow texturing there in a suit and it just looks like real metal that he's made of which is just great man his boots look awesome just a tremendous piece from iron studios Alrighty, all you savages, thanks for watching the video. The giveaway is going down now. We are now on the road to 500 subscribers. To be entered in the giveaway, all you gotta be is subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and comment. Now I'm gonna pick a random video, and one of those comments I'm gonna use in a random comment generator. Whoever wins that will be the winner of this glorious Cyclops 110 scale Iron Studios prize. Now, good luck, get commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. Let's get to 500, dog. We made it to 100. Thank you all. Now, I'm out of here. Peace.